Hey YouTube, thank you for joining me. Are you ready for uh, some more fish lies, some fish tales? Today uh, I've recruited a couple guests and uh, uh, let's see what they have to say about uh, ideas and uh, fish lies and fish tales that are passed along in places like Facebook and blogs and forums, things that they've heard that they've discovered later were just simply not true. So let's take a look at it, folks. Before getting into the lies, let's uh, let me introduce you to a couple of new members of the family here. Here we have a a new fish I picked up from Imperial Tropicals. They were able to get them out to me before they were hit by Hurricane Irma. This is a Placidochromus tanzania, or a star sapphire. Good looking little guy. And um, you can see here in the photograph, you can get an idea of what he's going to look like once he starts to get some of those beautiful flecks, some of those uh, beautiful chips that they get when they uh, become a little larger. This one is probably about, I would say, three inches. I kept him in quarantine for a little over a week. He was very strong, eating well, and I brought him over here. Here's what it'll look like uh, when he uh, puts on some size. You can see I've got some high hopes for this guy. And when he puts on another inch or two, maybe I'll take him over to the uh, 135. And currently in the quarantine tank, I have a Maduka White Lips. Beautiful fish. Maduka White Lips. Picked him up from Paul. The Inventory King on YouTube. And this little Maduka White Lips came right out of the bag, eating and jumping around and uh, in very good shape for having traveled in a bag for a day and a half. Here's some music in the background, some rehearsals going on here in the garage. It's Highland Kites, my daughter's band. All right, let's. Uh, Let's hear some fish tales, some fish lies from my first guest tonight, Adam C., my friend Adam C. Adam, tell me some fish lies, my friend. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Adam C. here. So here's some information that's passed around in the fish hobby pretty frequently that I think might be a lie. Here we are at my 220-gallon African cichlid tank. This is all haps. And most of the fish in here are pretty uncommon fish. Uh, they're not fish that you're going to find at your local fish store a lot of the times. There are a few in here that are local, but most of these have come from online retailers, which means they've been shipped across the country, uh, right to my front door, or right to the nearest airport to me. So they are in a box for, you know, a day, sometimes longer, sometimes uh, just a matter of a few hours. But nevertheless, it does happen where one of the fish dies in the box. And I see a lot of people on occasion, um, they, they receive fish in the mail, they receive fish at their front door in a box, and one of them has died. And they immediately assume that it is the shipper's fault. The shipper didn't package them properly, they didn't add a heat pack, they, they didn't add enough air, you know, any number of things. And I think one of the bigger lies in the fish hobby today is people thinking that if a fish dies in a box when it's shipped to you, that it is automatically the shipper's fault. I just don't think that's the case. I mean, look at this, this box here. This is just a basic cardboard box with styrofoam on the inside. This was shipped to me with three fish inside of it. That is such an unnatural thing for a fish to be involved with. You know, no part of their anatomy prepares them to be in a cardboard box and shipped across the country with possibly changing temperatures in their box, uh, being moved around, 
jostled around a bit. Sometimes the stress of the fish just overwhelms it due to shipping and it's going to die and there's not a thing you could do about it and there may have not been a single thing that the shipper could do about it. So the best thing I would I found in that situation that I could do or anyone else could do is you know just be polite, contact the shipper, uh, show them a picture of it and explain what happened and 99% of the time they're going to have a dead on arrival policy where they'll replace your fish, they might help you with some of the shipping. Um, if you're polite with them about it, they're going to help you out. They're not just going to leave you hanging high and dry if it's a quality shipper. So, again, one of the bigger lies that I see is people assume if a fish dies inside a cardboard box inside a plastic bag, they simply assume that it's the shipper's fault, um, not necessarily that the fish might have just been overwhelmed by stress. So I want to thank Ben for having me on today. Uh, let me guys let me know your thoughts on that, and see you guys next time. Thank you, Adam C., I appreciate you participating in this collaboration. I'm not sure how any of us would do uh, if we were shoved in a box and uh, sent across the country. That would have to be very uncomfortable. So um, uh, certainly things can happen, and uh, the best approach is a polite, professional one, getting communication. These these reputable uh, outfits out there, you know, your, your um, uh, Cunningham cichlids, your uh, Southeast cichlids, your... Uh, Cichlid Shack, um, Life Fish Direct, Dave's Rare, uh, people like this. I mean, uh, Imperial Tropicals. These folks will work with you. They will. Um, all you have to do is communicate with them, be polite, and be straightforward. They will remedy the situation. And so, um, you know, keep in mind, uh, traveling in a box is going to be pretty hard. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think any of us would like it very much. So uh, let's move on to some more uh, uh, some more viewpoint on this subject of fish lies. Let's see what uh, what my friend uh, the the uh, uh, the legend uh, the general of uh, hashtag Hap Nation has to say on this subject. Let's hear from IFG Evan Alexander. Evan, tell me some fish lies, my friend. What's up, YouTube? IFG. I'm here today with Ben to talk about what is the most incorrect information that I have been given since being in the aquarium hobby. So let's get straight into it. All right, YouTube. Some of the most incorrect information that I have been given since I've been in the aquarium hobby. Um, number one, you do not need to do water changes. Your fish can survive without doing tank maintenance or water changes. Number two, African cichlids are very difficult to keep. They will kill any other cichlid that is put in an aquarium with them. Absolutely not true, number one, nor number two. And last but not least, number three, it does not matter what you feed your fish because they will basically eat anything. Different species of fish require different diets. Okay, guys, thanks for the spot, Ben. And remember, the opinion that you follow should be your own. Simply take this video as a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Peace. All excellent points. All those are excellent points, Evan. Thank you so much for participating. And uh, for those of you who watched my first uh, Fish Lies video, you know the uh, most excellent point in my mind is the final disclaimer that uh, IFG gives with all of his videos. The opinion you follow should be your own. And, uh, uh, you know, we're responsible ultimately for uh, making sure that the information that we have come across is accurate and uh Time and time again, when I've traced back what went wrong in some uh, uh, tank situation, some undesirable aquarium outcome, uh, it's uh, come back to me. And uh, that's not a, an easy place to look, but it certainly opens the door to learning. And uh, so uh, thank you so much, gentlemen, for your, for your ongoing contributions to uh, the YouTube community. Uh, you're both, uh, in, my, in my mind, in my estimation, two of the consummate professionals that are out there, and uh, I very much appreciate uh, the videos that you post. Check out Adam C. Uh, on YouTube, and certainly visit hashtag HapNation, and uh, 
there's a great content being constantly uh, posted at those two sites. All right. Thank you for the collaboration, my friends. Thank you to all of you who tune into my channel and support the channel and uh, comment. Your comments are important to me. I get to them as fast as I can, as you know. And certainly pay a visit to ben.ocyclid on Instagram and uh, Ben O apostrophe cyclid on YouTube. We have a good a good group going there. Uh, pretty safe uh, for people to communicate and ask questions. You you will not be jumped on necessarily if you're a new fish keeper. Uh, you can ask your questions there in a relatively safe, troll-free, drama-free environment. Okay. All right. So that's it for now. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, again, you are appreciated. Mm-hmm.